In this demo, I'll show you how you can configure to use Apache CXF as your web services toolkit. First, we need to open up the preferences dialog by clicking menu and then preferences, which brings up the preference window. This is the one we've been into earlier to set up the server for Tomcat. We are now interested in the web services category. Under web services, click on the cxf2.x preferences. We are now in the dialog where we can set up the various runtime environments for web services. And we have installed uh, CXF, so we need to browse to the place where we placed CFX. The CFX home text box needs to be filled in with the path to the root of where you uh, expanded the CXF runtime. I don't remember exactly where, so I'm going to browse to it. I found the directory and now I'm going to select it as the root. And then I'll press OK to confirm my selection. Notice the CXF home text box has been filled in. The version number has also been found. And of course Eclipse also know what type of web services runtime we set up. So all we need to do now is to press the finish button. I'm also going to click on the checkbox next to it to make it the default. And then I'll press OK to confirm my configuration. Finally, I also need to configure Tomcat so that it uses the CXF runtime. By default, Tomcat will use Axis, and I want it to use CXF. This is also done under Preferences, so we need to open up the window menu and go back into the Preference dialog. The configuration of Tomcat is under Server and Runtime. Click on the Web Service Runtime drop-down and select the Apache CXF configuration and click OK to finalize the selection. That concludes this demo. So what we did in this demo is we set up the CXF as the web service runtime and configured Apache so that it uses CXF.